Silence. There was once a community here, but just as everything, silence is broken by the sound of artillery. This house was just hit. Those who remain have become accustomed to it. Ten minutes ago they were firing like crazy. They were really pounding the area up the road. This is a residential area. It happens a lot. Every half hour they reload. And across the street we meet 69-year-old Lida Vobenekova. She said she doesn't want to leave her house because her husband can't walk and they don't want to be a burden on others. Her neighborhood is under constant attack. It's scary. They hit here and there. Half the street is destroyed. Ukraine, save us. We're with you. We're told it's unsafe. We must leave the area because of the ongoing artillery duel. Yeah. You can hear the outgoing and the incoming, and you can also hear them landing. In the distance, you can see smoke on the horizon. There's no one, hardly anybody left here because, because of that. But in the shadow of war, it seems only the elderly are left here. This school providing a vital humanitarian lifeline. Our house is safe, but a hundred meters away from us, people got killed. Their bodies were in pieces. They were people I knew. Not far from here, an apartment block was hit. Holocaust survivor Boris Romanchenko lived here. Now they're taking away what's left of his body after shelling hit his flat. There was a terrible shelling. It was not a bam, more of a whistle. Three terrible whistles. Romanchenko survived three Nazi concentration camps in World War II. Vladimir Putin says he is fighting Nazis. But it's not Nazis that killed Romanchenko. It was Russian artillery. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Kharkiv.